Hello, my name is Carl Casave. I'm right now sitting in the control room from K4's Kadali studio in Funkhaus, Berlin. Here is where I experimented and recorded all the acoustic instruments for my new album, Ego's Gallery, during the last four months. It was actually new for me to lead and record some musicians for one of my solo projects, but it was a fantastic experience to collaborate with such talented people, especially working and recording here in this amazing studio with this fantastic acoustic. Some of the musicians even inspired me some new songs like the intro for example. The idea of the album was to explore grief and uh, how we can be hunted by some feeling places and uh, people and um, how we can affect our presence depending how we accept and approach those uh, emotions. So I basically imagine each track of the album like some sort of a ghost or spirits in order to personify um, all of the feelings which surrounded grief.
I feel like Berlin was the right place to be for me to work on the album because Berlin is a haunted city, haunted by history, haunted by the past, haunted by culture. Um, and it's quite easy to feel it when you're walking all over the city. Just as Funk House, this place is haunted by music, haunted by history, you can almost feel it in the air. This place has a really unique atmosphere and it definitely inspired me for my production. visited or revisited some of the historic places, I found out that some of these locations have a really interesting acoustic with nice reverbs and echoes. spaces with an unusual acoustic to reamp or record some of the takes for the album. I mainly produced the album in my home studio, uh, experimenting with a hardware reverb delay, grain delays to try to create some ghostly ambiences and textures. I also experimented a lot with uh, tape recording, um, playing with a pitch on the vocals on field recording to create some drones and weird percussions that I played then on, on Abletonian samplers or included in drum racks to have like more control on it. Uh, 
for the synthesizers, I mainly used my JX3P from Roland, uh, the Matrix Brute from Arturia for sequences and basses, and uh, Moog Slim Fatty for percussions and basses also. The creative process of the album was really interesting. I learned a lot, either from the musician I work with, or the sound engineers, or just the different techniques that I explored this last four months. And uh, now I just can't wait to share it. Mm -hmm. 